Hey guys, how's it going? Anyway, uh, this is another one of my tutorials. I'm just about ready to paint my helmet. I'm, uh, I'm like over 90% done with the sanding and bondo work. And what I'm going to do is that while I'm in the middle finish up the rest of my sanding and bondo work for my helmet, is that I'm going to put padding in it. So, I'm going to make a quick tutorial on padding, okay? It, it's, it's hard to find padding and stuff like foam padding. Usually you got to go to like a farmer's market or something or an upholstery place and you know and I know a lot of you guys don't have a lot of money because you can you can actually build an entire set of armor with lights and everything for around 200 bucks if you're really smart about it. I ripped this out of an old chair. This is foam from old chair. This is going to be fine. Well this looks disgusting. It's yellow. It's stained. And it's old. Well that's perfectly fine. You know why? because I'm going to cover this with a fabric. I'm going to go to Walmart, I'm going to buy a cheap fabric, and I'm going to uh, adhesive the fabric to it to make it look nice inside of the helmet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler here, this trusty ruler, a Sharpie, and a uh, carpet knife. So I'm going to use I'm going to cut it in different, you know, thickness sections here, and I'm going to start experimenting, you know, so I'm going to do like, a, like an inch across here, and I'm going to cut it in like different squares. I got a lot I got a lot to work with here. I uh I like the thickness here so I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it like this throughout the thing because then I can go ahead and I can layer it in and, and make it to fit my head exactly. Now what uh I, I chose to do it this manner because it's gonna be a custom fit. I don't have to worry about not being able to fit it right. Um so this is what you wanna do. You wanna cut your pieces and you want to, this is a uh, automotive su uh, super trim adhesive. They use this for head lining and stuff, so this works great with fabric. You're still going to be able to get the nice, you know, cushy feeling from, from the foam afterwards. This will attach to it um, and attach to the inside of helmet, helmet. That's the great thing about automotive adhesive. It's designed for this. So I'm going to end up, you know, cleaning up the best I can inside of my helmet here. And then... I'm going to start the process of putting the foam in my helmet. Now, you're figuring, well, how do, how do I, uh, how do I know when to put the, uh, you know, the, the fabric over the foam? Well, I'm going to start cutting out the sizes I need first, you know, and, and, and figure it out from there. First thing I'm going to do is that the top of the head. That's my suggestion, so you get the eye height right when you're looking through your, your, your helmet here. Um, you know, because you, you're going to have to, you know, put the, you're going to have to put the padding in, put your head in the helmet, you know, you're going to have to take the tape off your visor so you can look through it, you know, see if that's right. Once, once it's right, you can either glue it in there and then fabric it in, put the, you know, glue the fabric through while it's in there, or what you could do is you could fabric it and then glue the entire piece in there if you want to do it that way. Now, it's going to be a little touch and go. Um, you know, take your time with it because that stuff sets up pretty good. And once it's set, it's going to be a pain in the ass because if you rip it out of there, you're going to have chunks of foam in there. You're going to have to go in there with like a... a with a spoon or a knife or whatever the hell it is you can find and dig it out of there. You don't want to have to really do that. So take your time with it. Plan well. Make sure you use ruler marks. Because so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark this entire pad and, and the sec, you know, and the, uh, and the thickness that I want from here to here. And I'm going to take my sharpie, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make sure it's done nice. So just take your, your, your time. That's what I do. And find a little chair or an old sofa cushion sitting on the side of the street, pick that sucker up, rip the foam out of it. I mean, if you're, if, if you're really gutsy, rip the foam out of it right there. But that would be it. Take the entire thing, rip the foam out, and chuck it. That's what I do. Because they're just giving it away if it's on the side of the street like in every other neighborhood. There you go. There's your foam padding problem solved. Okay? Bam. So, all you got to do is drive around some local neighborhoods. I guarantee you're going to find a chair or a cushion or something with foam padding it to use for, for your helmet and whatnot. And also for, you know, your, your other gear pieces that you need to, uh, that you may need to pad. So, 
that's my tutorial on uh, foam padding and whatnot, and I'll give you the update of what it looks like after I'm done padding my helmet. Catch you guys later.